Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Radical Raptor Channel. Welcome back to another Legacy of the Duelist video. Today we're moving on to Yu Yu vs. Aura as part of our DLC duels videos. I did record this yesterday and then I accidentally deleted it, which is why yesterday I said there'd be two videos, but there's only one up on the channel, so sorry for that. Um, glad you guys are enjoying the uh, multiplayer duels uh, as well. Uh, thanks for supporting that. I mean,. I do really enjoy playing multiplayer, and also did have a bit of a rage at the end of the last one because the guy rage quit. But let's see what we can do with this deck here. Aura uses Prediction Princesses, I believe. Um, I did a video on them a couple of weeks ago, I think. It was like one of the last Legacy Doors videos I actually did. So let's see how we can do against you uh, against Aura. Sorry, uh, Aura Sentia. Ah, oh, uh, 4K media in their puns. We've got Rune Eyes in our deck. I don't think when I did this last time I actually even used Rune Eyes, which was great. Uh, pendulum Cool. Discard one card, add two Magician Pendulum Monsters with different names to your deck. Also until the end of your next turn. Uh, huh. That's not bad. So... We can... He's using Conscription to get Odd Eyes to our hand. Now, I think, let, let me have a look at it, let me see what this is. Uh, reveal one fusion monster, yeah. If you do, for the rest of the turn, after turn, you cannot normal summon or set or special summon monster with the added monster's name, nor activate their effects. Okay, so there's no point in us doing um, anything like that right now. We're going to add polymerization to our hand. Now, the reason for this is I want to... Um, I'm going to summon Whip Snake. Now, I have a, every card in my hand that I need to, you know, perform this turn. Pendulum Cool is going to come in very handy next turn. But I just want to at least have something on the field to defend my life points as much as possible. Because next turn I'm going to be Fusion Summoning and Pendulum Summoning as well, I think. Ooh. When this card resolves, all monsters your opponent controlled when this card is activated, like change face to face. Monsters your opponent controls can't change the bound positions. Okay. That's fine. So now we can go Pendulum Cool. And we can discard Perform Power Cool. And we can add these two to our hand. Which is great. We can then set the. Oh, we can't set the scale because of you. Um. Hmm. We'll end. <laughs> we need a clear field. I completely forgot about that. I forgot that uh, Time Gazer requires a clear field to even do anything. Oh, Aura, why don't you just, you know, destroy some of my stuff? Unless we have to... Okay, no, because that's if we control... Yeah, like, right. So we've now got seven hands. Also, skill prisoner. Target one card you control. This turn... Yeah, let's just... Is that just monsters, yeah? Yeah, okay, fine. I will put you there, and then we'll end, hopefully, or decides to attack into our Whip Snake, because I really want to play my Magicians. And put off some awesome Pendulum Summoning and Fusion Summoning combos, which is pretty much what Yuya did in this episode. It was the uh, the first evolution of Pendulum Summoning, I believe. Right, here we go. Shining Angel. Ooh, okay. Okay, yeah, fine. Uh, I'll let that go through. Even though there's nothing that that trap card can do, like, to help me. But we should be able to get a ton of damage off, assuming that face on card isn't anything too bad. Uh, let's go Time Gazer, and... Nope. Nope, and Stargazer. Which are going to let us special summon these three. And then we're going to tribute Odd Eyes for Rune Eyes, I guess, because it's going to get two attacks. Thanks to using a level 4 or lower spellcaster, I believe. So, uh, no, let's not do that. We can then... Is it right? 
The full of this card can make two attacks on monsters during spell phase. Nice, we'll use that then. Now, the question is, I think they go to the graveyard though, because they aren't destroyed. They go to the graveyard, they don't go to the extra deck. If they went to the extra deck, that'd be a bit too... Oh, they go to the extra deck, that's ridiculous. They're free then. That's a free... A free fusion summon, because we're just getting back next turn, that's stupid. Uh, first of all, we're going to... Why can't... I oh, cannot attack unless you control another perform power monster, that's fine. And then we'll attack. Probably worse for me not, like, I should have probably attacked the face down, but we really need to deal the damage. But I believe he's gonna, or she at least, is going to be able to ritual summon next turn, and then she'll target my rune eyes, and rune eyes will be sent face down, I believe. Or not. Oh, Swords Concealing Light, okay. Oh no, really? That's disappointing. Um, let's... Pendulum Summon again for these three. We can go to, we can go to another Rune Eyes. Uh, which is great. And then next time we could bring out Odd Eyes again. Then we can have a nice... Field set up. We've also got Perform Power Bow Hopper, which I believe allows me to tribute another Perform Power to deal damage. Um, only problem is, I don't really want to waste that uh, El Hammer. Uh, no, it's fine. Is that a quick play? That is a quick play, isn't it? I believe. No, it's not. It's just a straight continuous. Okay. See, if that was able to attack, then we would have... Would have we destroyed it? No, we would have returned it to the hands, so we would have been... De east. Okay, it wouldn't have made any difference. He still would have... Or she still would have, sorry, been able to... Uh, put our guys face down. We're going to be able to attack twice again with Rune Eyes, which is great. Uh, no, we are f going to go to battle phase. Uh, attack with you first of all, and get rid of uh, Manju. And then we use our double rune eyes. Okay. And then we're gonna end. We're looking pretty good, I mean. That's still got two turns left, and we aren't going to be able to wipe her out this turn. Oh, actually, no, we are, because we have all eyes, okay. Oh, oh my god, really? We can't, we can't even, we can't even uh, do it, because we can't Pendulum Summon. We can't Pendulum Summon an additional Time Gazer Magician, unfortunately. But we have all eyes, which is the next best alternative. Uh, put you... Oh, I can't change this battle position, can I? Damn it. Okay, uh, let's attack with you. And then obviously we can't attack again because it's only two attacks on monsters. 25. We've got this in the bag. Oh dear. Rest in peace. Rest in peace on my monsters. No! No! Oh, why? Um. Okay. We m might be able to do this? If you can, I'm sure you can fuse someone from face down monsters. If not, then I obviously cannot remember the rules of this game. Uh, perform power spring goose. You banish the card from your graveyard, then target two pendulum cards among the pendulum monster you control and all the magician and perform power cards in your pendulum zone. Return both to the hand. That's pretty good. Um, I'll put it in attack mode because we might be able to deal some decent damage, decent amounts of damage. We can activate polymerization, which is great, so we can finally summon our 
third and final um, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. And then next turn we can potentially bring Odd Eyes if needed. But hopefully we won't need a next turn. Actually no, we definitely will. I don't know what I'm saying. Unless I risk it. Yeah, let's risk it. Let's attack with that. Come on, please be less than a thousand defense. No, it's 1400. Okay, sick. The, uh... Didn't pay off, but she got Prediction Ritual to her hand, so she might be getting Prediction Princess Amatre. I think that's its name. Out next turn. And damn, this video's gone on for 10 minutes already. I'm sure last time when I did it, it went off like 5, so you guys are getting a more interesting duel, put it this way. Yeah, Prediction Ritual. Prediction Princess Taratre. I think I said Amatre before, it's definitely Taratre. Take one face up, gets put face down. Activate this guy on you. I think that works. Yeah, he does. Nice. And yeah, okay, he destroyed one rune eyes. That's fine. Ooh, but she got. Okay, they want to get as a ritual spell. That's nice, I guess. Um, can a pendulum summon odd eyes? Time Gazer. I'm not going to summon Part Naga. I know it's probably I probably should because you know I uh, give uh, Rune Eyes you know 600 extra attack points, but I don't feel like restricting myself to only attacking with five or higher because then I might not win depending on what her face down cards are. So attack with Rune Eyes because he can attack twice, but Tara Trey is going to put it into face down. But we can use Skill Prisoner to target Rune Eyes again, which will negate her effect. I love cards like that where they have double purposes. It's fantastic. And then that one's going to allow her to gain a ritual spell to her hand, so another pred prediction ritual. And then finally, we can attack directly with the main monster, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. There we go. Nice and quite challenging at times win. Uh, next video will be the Moon Shadow vs. Aura Duel, so hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next Lex Duelist video. See you then.